This is Acadiana's News Channel at 5. Thanks for joining us. The former head of Night Oil Tools will spend a year in jail for his involvement drug planting scheme. As you may recall, Mark Knight was behind a plan to frame his brother and then take over the family company. According to court documents, he paid three men, including two law enforcement officers, $87,000 to help him. Our Chris Welty joining us live outside of the Lafayette Parish Correctional Center. And Chris, is Knight in jail tonight? Marcel, not yet. Mark Knight has until next Friday at noon to report to jail. Mr. Knight, any comment? He has no comment. Looking down, leaving the courthouse, Mark Knight had no comment. Do you have any remorse for what you did? Sir, I mean, really, this is ridiculous. Knight was sentenced on two charges, bribery and corrupt influencing. On the bribery charge, Knight was sentenced to four years in prison, of which three years were suspended. He was also ordered to forfeit $87,000. According to court records, that's the total amount of money he paid to three men, two of them law enforcement officers, in the plot to frame his brother with drugs. As for the corruption charge, he was ordered to serve one year in the parish jail, which will run concurrently with his other sentence. We're glad to have this phase of this matter over. Uh, because there's a pending civil litigation, we really have no further comment at this time. In court, Judge David Smith acknowledged numerous letters were sent on Knight's behalf. Smith also considered Knight's contributions to society, not only money, but his time volunteering. The system has done its job, and, um, you know, we prepared a case. We, we brought it to the district attorney. He, he found um, enough evidence to, to get a conviction. And now the, the criminal justice system has done its job. Kip Judice was the lead investigator on this case. He says the judge's ruling is sending a clear message. No matter you wear a badge on your shirt or you have the means to corrupt that badge, um, that you 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 know you, you're gonna you're gonna suffer the consequences. And certainly, um, Judge Smith made that statement. Now, this isn't the end of legal troubles for Mark Knight. His brother filed a civil suit against him in federal court. That trial date is set for January 2020. Live in Lafayette, Chris Waltz, KTC TV3. Also in court today, former narcotics deputy Jason Kinch was sentenced on charges of public bribery and corrupt influencing. His three-year prison sentence is suspended. He will serve one year house arrest and two years of probation and must complete 150 hours of community service. The former state trooper charged in this case, Corey Jackson, was scheduled scheduled to appear today, but records show his sentencing was reset for April 3rd. He and Russell Manuel, a former Night Oil Tools employee, pleaded guilty.